so KL to Malacca and it cost 12 ringgit and I literally just turned up at the bus station bought my ticket and now I'm headed down to gate 5 to go and board made it on the bus and it looks quite comfortable as well in Malacca and it only took about an hour and 40 minutes something like that by the bus and it was really comfortable I just watched a film and um, yeah just ordered a grab there's quite a lot of taxi towns literally as you get off the bus but they wanted 30 ringgit so I've come down and ordered a grab arrived here but it's all locked up so I've just phoned the number and I think they're on their way to let me in the accommodation was really nice and I stayed in a double air conditioned room for the first couple of nights but unfortunately I forgot to do any footage of that so there is no room tour of the first room. So I've made it to Malacca. I've got my iced lemon tea type drink. And yes, you're right, I've been clothes shopping again. I can hear you, I know. But it is a really cute shirt, isn't it? And I am going to get rid of some other bits and pieces. <laughs> anyway, I've walked down to the fort. First impressions are quite good. It is very touristy. But yeah, first impressions are good. I've got a whole load of places to take you to, so don't worry. We're going to go and have a little look round and investigate. So I've booked two nights in my hostel, which is called the Traveller's Diary. I've got a private room. Yeah, I think it, it's looking good. It's looking good. And I might extend, but I am very close to the mosque. So the call to early morning prayer might be a bit too much. So I will reserve judgment until... <laughs> they've got rickshaws going past and they've got the loudest music playing ever so anyway I am going to reserve judgment until after my first night and then I'll either stay there or I will look for somewhere else but anyway I'm gonna go and finish my drink and have a little wander around this is Dutch Square which is right next to the river there and it is a tourist mecca Everybody just comes here to hang out, have their photograph taken. So right next to the giant ship, there is, let me zoom in a little bit, a tower that revolves around. Just up here, look, that looks interesting. Might go and see how much it is to go up. I got to the ticket counter. And I smiled and I just said, how much for one adult? And she looks at me and she looked down and she looks at me again. She went, how old are you, madam? So I told her and she went, I can give you a discount. <laughs> at least I got the discount, eh? <laughs> That was really good and well worth price. <laughs> Stop laughing at me, I know. <laughs> I've bought some of these to try. This one is a curry puff, this one's a salted egg puff and this is a chicken puff. What one shall we start with? Shall we try the chicken puff first? The chicken one is really nice. Next we're going to try the salted egg. Okay, very sweet. Not what I expected at all. And last but not least, it's the curry puff. I think my favourite one by far is the chicken one. It's definitely the nicest. 
on, I don't know what's going on, but it's so quiet here. There's nobody around. And it's only about 10 to 8 as well. Maybe I'm just in the wrong area. I don't know. But it does say that this is the main street. So I've been here for four nights now and I just thought how quiet everything was and nothing was going on. <laughs> I come out of my hostel this, uh, this evening and find the entire main road actually just a hive of activity and somebody is just setting up just here ready to play music and yeah Saturday night market let's go and have a little look I've got a ticket and I'm going to go on a boat ride just down this little jetty. I think it takes about an hour, 45 minutes to an hour, something like that, and just go up and down the river. Should be nice in the middle of the afternoon. So the upside down house is actually included in the price of the ticket but if you're on your own it's really not much fun because you can't take the pictures hold the phone yeah so the one in georgetown they actually follow you around and tell you how to pose yeah that was a little bit of a shame really because there was staff there but they were just sat playing on their mobile phones I think that was quite a nice time of day to do it. It is now quarter past six, so it's not as hot as it was. Step one, wake up, brother, gonna rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Everybody just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Good food, good mood, blood in circulation. One step at a time, yeah, that's how you make it. Set a goal you control and the steps you take them. And if I make a mistake, it's called education. I try to do this every day, call it replication. Good morning, everybody. It is a Sunday morning at quarter to eight. And I have found the local church. I went to the Catholic Church when I was on Langkawi with Schneid and now I've just found the local Christian church so I thought I would go down for the morning service which starts at half past eight. This is one of the oldest churches, the Church of St. Francis Xavier. But at the moment, it looks like it's under repair. So I won't be going in and having a little look around. Indian food is on the menu tonight, but it says the restaurant is down there. Okay, I'm not really very sure. Maybe it's round the other side. Found it. 
it wasn't down the back alley. It's just here that I've ordered chicken tikka masala with the naan bread and some lemon juice. So after dinner, I went for a cheeky ice cream, followed by a walk along the riverfront, which was really beautiful. I then went for something to eat and ended up meeting these lovely ladies from Singapore who paid my bill for me. After a couple of nights in the double room, I moved into a fan-only single, which was very comfortable. And during the day, I would work in the common area. My avocado on toast has just arrived, but I had to wait over 40 minutes for it. So I hope it's worth it. I think they forgot about me and it went a little bit soggy. Okay, so after a not so successful stop for something to eat, I'm now going to go to the Royal Press. I'll put it this way, I was going to go to the Royal Press, but unfortunately it's closed today. This is where I've bought my new jazzy shirt and they've got quite a few that I like in there. I've done so much shopping since I've been here, it's just not true. Don't leave me alone with a clothes shop. <laughs> I've come down to the Heritage Museum down here, but it looks like it's open. I'm on to a winner. I really enjoyed that, but looking at the sky, I think it's going to absolutely pour with rain any second. So I think I might go and dive in somewhere and grab coffee. I've got a lemon meringue pie and a orange and passion fruit tea, and they both look delicious. Cheers. The buildings are so beautiful. My new room, squeaky door, it is a full bath with bunk beds, a single and a tall single and I'm in this one right near the door. You can see all my belongings down underneath. I've been in this room for a little while so that's why I'm all unpacked. So first of all I was in the double room with the air conditioning for two nights. Then I moved to the single room for three nights. And after that, it was booked. So that's when I moved up to this room, which is the dorm room, which is really comfortable. If you can hear me, because I got the fan and the air conditioning going at the same time, because it's really hot. And I've been doing a little bit of my editing just here as well today. Off we go up here to the viewpoint and it's a glorious day after the rain yesterday. Wow. It looks like they're making a film here. I've just asked the guys in the soldier's suit. It's a film crew from Singapore and it's about the British story in Singapore. There you go. I found out for you. But you can't watch it in England, just if you're in Singapore. So keep your eyes out for it if you are in Singapore. Wow, look at that really old fire truck.
I've come down to the mosque to see the sunset. It's very beautiful. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> 